Hi my YouTube friends, it's Scott Punk again with another video, just a short video. Yes, um, with my dog today, I cleaned my van, I got my van fixed, I had my O2 sensors put in the van, uh, because in the van I put O2 sensors to make the van run, it run, ran better, so I, I couldn't be in the van, the van was out for a couple of days, get it, the van was out because it was sick, <laughs> the van was sick. The O2 sensors are down here somewhere, actually they run on the, oh, I think it's the O2 sensors downstream here, this van has four sensors two upstream two downstream and it was, was running high as far as the temperature would run high it didn't overheat but it ran high but the point is too high that it will eventually overheat especially in the heat as it gets some it gets hot so i got that fixed so i just brought it to my favorite parking lot yes abby lobby abby lobby's parking lot right here and scrap it right there i gotta check i gotta change his bathroom that's his bathroom and i just cleaned my van Oh, beautiful isn't it actually I, sh I forgot I just decided to set the camera up and just do a video quick video so I didn't get a chance to I was gonna put the video and let you guys watch me clean my baby got a few good spots here we got a few good spots here I gotta clean up but look how shiny and this and the funny thing with this van this is the original paint of this van this is the original paint and, I, and like I said before three and a half to almost four years ago I paid 3200 for this van God, look at look at how macular this is. There's no rust. There's no rust spots. A lot of these Ford vans tend to have rust spots on here. I see newer vans, brand newer vans, have rust spots all under here, around the sides. I changed the rims, as you can see. They run much, much nicer. Look at that. Awesome. 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 I had a little rust spot right here. I cleaned it. I did. I did that. That's good about being DIY. I did the rust box, I had the rust box here. I got rid of the rust box that are coming out. I cleaned it out and put a little bit metal. I did that. And most vans have a lot of rust all along here. My van never had this van, don't have it. And like I said before, this is the original paint. Look how shiny it is. And when I first brought this van, the paint on here was dull. You can see, look, you see the trees. It's like a mirror. God, look at it, it's awesome. This is the original paint. And that's kind of funny because when I first bought the van, the way it was so dull, I was thinking of respraying it. Thank God I didn't do that. Thank you, God, I didn't do that. I don't have to. So I kept it up. And that's what I says. And that's what I tell people to, all the time. Whether you do van life or live alternatively or do it part-time or do it just recreational use to go camping in different places, you don't have to buy a brand new van. There's tons of used vans out there, tons of them. Even today, even now, you can buy a good van like this, 100, probably 120,000 miles. You can get probably a good one for like three, four $4,000, even now, cash. Instead of buying a brand new van for like 70 grand and being dead for another eight years. Because let's let's face it, most of these vehicles are becoming more and more expensive. And I'm an old I'm I'm punk. I'm old school in the sense that when I buy a vehicle, it lasts me for years. If I buy a schoolie bus that's like three, four years, I'm keeping that for another 20 years. Well not 20, probably yeah, probably 18 years, yeah, probably would. This van I plan to I plan to keep this. This is my first build, and it, hopefully it may be my last build. You know, like a lot of van dwellers or a lot of people who do this tend to, oh, I'm going to make money by make buying another van and rebuild it like this and sell it. I ain't doing that crap. I'm not doing this for that purpose. I do it to live alternatively for my own use. And it's a unique van because it's the only van that looks like this. And I'm not going to buy, and, I'm not going to rebuild another one. No, I said it before I would if I found a van with a high top, and I had a high top all over it, but I'm not going to do that. I love it. I love it just the way it is. It's unique. The only thing I'm gonna do is, like I said, is have the camper trailer behind it once it's built. It won't be, I won't be pulling it all the time because again, like I says, I do have a base. So I'm one that I do, I am lucky. But by choice, I choose to have a base anyway. You know, that's just me. I'd rather have a base. I don't want, I'm not ready to live out of this full time yet. I will do it in the near future. Maybe in my older age, you know, if I don't get my piece of land, the, my piece of land don't work out. That's what I may do. Where's Scrappy? Very scrappy, very scrappy, and and that's and that's about it, really. That's my thing, you know. You can buy plenty of good vans, used, used for like two, three thousand dollars. People say no way, but my advice to you guys, if you do buy a van like this, whether Chevy, Ford, Dodge, whether used or any vehicle used, take sure it's a you're the first, you're the second owner or third owner max. Don't go beyond third owner. You go beyond that then the van, is, the van and vehicle that you bought is being passed around, which means it's probably crap. And that's when you have a lot of problems. The only thing I did with this van was change the transmission. 
and that transmission now will out, will outdo this van easy and the engine here is original this van has when I first brought this van had 140,000 miles on it it probably has 180 now 180 still on it and these engines can go to four five hundred thousand so 354 so I, I like this van for years to come and when it, if the engine blows say another five years from now I'll replace it with another, another engine because I'm gonna I keep up my vehicle I keep up my used vehicles I keep them up and I maintain my vehicle I don't buy used brand new vehicles and that's why I'm not in debt and why I live alternatively and why I'm debt free and I urge people who choose to do this life whether full-time part-time or just a weekend warrior consider buying a, a used van don't don't go out there and buy a brand new one I'm not telling you well I am telling you not to buy a new one but if you guys choose to buy a new one that's up to you go ahead because now the because the interest rates and things have gone up years ago you'd buy you'd you'll you'd pay off a van in four years today you're gonna it's gonna be buying a brand new van or, or a car is like a mortgage now the payments are high and god forbid you have bad credit your, your payments gonna be like six seven hundred seven eight hundred a month for a van even a new van like this a brand new one to this a brand new one to this you're looking at seven eight hundred months not to mention your insurance which is another 300 and 400 on top of that that's rent right there that's like 12 that's 1200 dollars right there that's rent so that's about it just my little rant i thought i'd do and, sh and i i should have did my video when i cleaned the van and let you guys see me clean the van but you're look facing over there fast Raffy. let's get you around the right way there you are you're looking at you okay scrappy yeah scrappy i love my dog he's in a suit yeah I let, him, I let him run around this i always bring him around this space here he loves to run around Got a whole place, got a whole place to run around all over there, all over there. Oh, the run of the land. Look at that. Lovely, eh? You got a whole parking lot. The only thing is, you can't run out there. Too dangerous out there. But even this is space. The only thing though, if I sleep in my van, I will not sleep out here at night. Because I'll be the only one here. You attract, you attract more attention when you have your van by yourself. I'll, I'll give you an example. You see? My van is by itself. Not much people around. You see? This by by park like that, you attract more attention. More likely to get the knock on the door, a cop come by to check on you. I grant it, he's doing his job, but the point is you want to avoid all that. So when you park somewhere, like I said, I know I did videos before. Park somewhere like this. Like you have a bunch of cars, blending a bunch of amongst a bunch of cars. I do it all the time. When I park in the shop right parking lot, I do that all the time. Where the best buy place or other malls, strip malls where I park. The only place I don't park is Walmart. For some reason, I don't care for the Walmart parking lot. It has a bad name. I don't really care for Walmart parking lot. I'll park there in a day if I'm going to do some cleaning and stuff like that. But I'd rather, I'd rather park in, in, a, in a parking lot. But when you do park, don't park in a lone place like this. Like I'm here, I'm hanging out with my dog. I clean my van up and just told you guys about brand new used vehicles. But to sleep here tonight, it's not happening. Attract too much attention. And like I said, I don't give a damn about, I don't give a fuck about stealth. I don't buy that stealth parking. I ain't scared. I don't care. I own what I do. I love what I do. I love parking and sleeping at my van some nights. Most nights anyway. I don't sleep. Because I have a base, I, I do both. So I don't mind. I guess it's a little harder for someone who lives at their van full time and has no way to go. So I don't know. Depends on them anyway. Anyway, guys, that's it. Just look around. Look talking. Talking about. Talk about video. That's all. Anyway, guys, keep it nice, keep it sweet, keep it real, and I'll see you in the next video. I'll see you later. See you, guys. Woof, woof.